Oh, what is up you guys glitches here and welcome to episode 15 of cyberpunk 2077 I don't want to waste any time We're gonna pick right back up where we left off in the last episode with the life during wartime mission We're helping out Pan Am uh, quick recap. We uh, set off a huge EMP blast which took down this AV Which had Hellman the guy that V is uh, hunting down inside of it Unfortunately some of Pan Am's friends got caught in the crossfire and one of them actually died and Hellman, the guy that we were after, got escorted by a bunch of the surviving Corpo guys from the dropship and taken to this nearby gas station. So Pan Am and I are hopping on these motorcycles and I'm assuming we're going to hunt them down. So let's continue on with the story and see what happens. Following Pan. some sort of prototype. I think it was military. You don't remember? Anyway, chase the guy through three states, only to fish his body up out of the lake. Killed himself? Doubt it. I think they hit him with a virus. Anyway, lost control. Probably suffocated before he could drown. That is fucked up. You stop thinking about all that sad shit for a moment, right? Bike is like okay. floating underground. All right, here we go. Patrols definitely set up shop here. I see. They must. Libby, see that? The pumps look pretty good. The bastards might have managed to call for transport. We'll know soon enough. Okay. Well, that guy in the tower needs to go first. Let's do a little breach protocol. I can actually lock on to someone here. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Turrets are off, cameras are off, and all enemies are lowered resistance. That was perfect. Alright, so we're gonna spread some plague. Let's wait for this guy to stop moving. Alright. You need to go. There go. Spread some plague. He's gonna die long before we get spotted. Short circuit this drone. Let's take over this camera. No more guys out front. Night night. All right, let's move in. Oh, 
Oh, we got another drone. Distraction, huh? What was that? Night night. Oh, wow. Okay. Get some free points real quick. Don't shoot, I'm unarmed. The hell are you doing here? This is my station. Name's Marty. Those fucking suits rode up like they own the place. Took everything. Put me here and locked the door. Yo, 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 my tuber, shroomers, and humors. Mr. Whitey here. Drop Brought a man with them. A man I need. Civilian. You must have spotted him. Mm-hmm. I ain't blind. Where are they holding him? Old garage. Room upstairs. Probably keeping him there. Thanks. How are you? I'd stay put for a few. Exactly my intention. Know where they're keeping Hellman. Going in. Okay, covering you. Know what they wanted? Had some sort. <sighs> Tell me they didn't. Like to hear that, wouldn't you? That was an Not easy your one. lucky day, boy. Made a call, waiting for more of their own to show. Shit. You even get any customers out of here? Shit, anyone even drive this way? Anyone who don't like refueling with cameras watching them? Not many, sure, but they're all big tippers. You get me? Got somewhere else to be. weapons and come out. Maybe it's not no man. You saw nothing. I don't know. Old employers.
Oh, come on. I just turned you off. Drones always got components on them. All right, smoke stairs. Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? You're in Obu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back? The pedic rats got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Night, night. Don't take this personally. I seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Helmet. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Helmet and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just Biz. He's no friend of yours. Answer your phone, man. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. You're coming with me. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder columns. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. Soul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, I tried to raise Scorpion, but he... Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul, it really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that AV got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all!
Hey, don't worry about Saul. He'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen Saul? to you. Saul? That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for I don't think her family. gun is supposed to be stuck to her body the right thing now. Is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <laughs> I understand. Definitely a graphical bug there. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? So, what now? Back to Night City? Yeah. I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think. Pretty sure we can romance this chick, everything. too. Saul, Mitch, they really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. Nice. Wake up. Hey. Where am I? What is this place? I want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arisaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arisaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. You misunderstand me. There is no offer. What do you want? Your text trying to kill me. Pretty sure that's not how it's advertised. If you wish to file a complaint, I'll need more details. Got Johnny Silverhand's construct stuck in my head. And I don't want it there. Silverhand? Construct? That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Long story. If Arisaka finds me, I'm dead. So are you. So we are in no hurry. And I'm interested, truly. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more Aware. aggressive. The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved And engrams. it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. Whoa, we just met. Haven't built up that sort of trust yet. How did you think this was going to go? If you want me to help you, I must examine you. Okay. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this suit's the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. What? What is it? 
What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. Damn. The only thing I could Woo -hoo, do... it's bargaining time. ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. When it comes to my decisions, Johnny really is just a voice in my head. Maybe he has a different opinion, but he can't make me do anything. Agreed 100%. You are one fucking stubborn. It's not host. as if one of you wins <laughs> the debate. The scale simply shifts, slowly but surely. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Oh, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny... Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. Know what? That's enough. You're just playing for time. Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? So, I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. I'll try, just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese. At my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. What a half-brain gonk. You just admitted you're right. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. He. There he Takamura. is. Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Hand him over. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. What'll you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Well, uh, this can heat. put a check mark My next throat to is positively parched. Now we gotta... Mm. V did not give you even a glass of beer. Uh, what the... Unacceptable. Man, Fuck! That is not me. You will see the difference. I will give you full buckets. No, uh, I'm falling no, apart, no. man. Sit down, goddammit. Is that the bio chip? Uh, of course, it's the damn chip. 
My silver handosis is clearly incubating. That appointed finger I hear in your voice? Oh, he's smoking Fuck. now. That was your ticker. Sit and rest. Don't need your flatlining while we got a job to do. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck Arasaka. Blah, blah. Smash Mikoshi. You really are turning into me. Can't say I'm excited. Because you're a manipulator, an egotist, and a cynic. Every time you open your mouth, you gotta bury someone. You know, we get along as the need arises. Maybe it's time you started trusting me more. Got no idea where I'm going. Be a living legend. That's all I wanted. Feels like I'm barely surviving. Test of a person's true value? Death. Facing it. Staring it down. You still got a chance to be somebody. Yeah. Maybe. What was it like... when you died? What's on top of the world? Failure not an option, not a thought. Till it happened. Death feels real now. It's only now I know it. Now? <laughs> Had half a century to come to terms. Makoshi felt, I don't know, like sleep? Lacked awareness, had no sense of passing time, didn't mark it, did what they wanted to me. I just remember, cold, a black void, fear. Or, or was that your death? Well... I think I get why you detest the place. Shouldn't exist. Of all the destruction and pain corpse wreak around the world, what happens at Mikoshi is worst. Know why? <laughs> they can change who you are. Turn you into someone else without you even knowing it. Yep. Goddamn right. Corps have already taken the world for their own. Now they're coming for us. Realize what you're doing to me is what our sock is doing at Mikoshi. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm gonna fix it. Let's move. Get back to work. Let's do. Cool. Man, the story is getting deeper and deeper, and we are obviously becoming more and more like Johnny. So it's like slowly taking over our mind completely, which is kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, if you guys are enjoying these videos, be sure to smash that like button. And as always, if you want to keep up with the uh, other 4K content I make and the future episodes of this series, then consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Until then, hope you guys had a great day, and we'll see you all in the next one.